Anyone out there interested in a compelling detective narrative through the urban jungle of Tokyo? Or how about visual novels? Do you like puzzle gameplay with a dose of psychological flair tossed into the mix with larger-than-life anime characters? Then perhaps I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative, should be on your radar when it releases next month. What's going on, good people? Jack here with another episode of Game Watch, and today we are going to be looking at I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative, a sequel to I, the Somnium Files, which released back in 2019. As the title suggests, I, or AI, can be read as is, with AI meaning artificial intelligence. However, fans of the first game will often pronounce the title as I, if any of you are familiar with Spike Chunsoft, the developers behind the critically acclaimed Danganronpa series and the Zero Escape games, then you will most likely absolutely love this game if it is anywhere near as good as the first I game. For those not familiar with the developer and this style of game, let me explain as briefly and succinctly as possible. Spike Chunsoft makes visual novels which are often quite light on gameplay and are very narrative driven. The tones of the developer's stories are often quite dark, dealing with heavy themes like murder and despair with heavy emphasis on puzzle solving and detective work, but have a very goofy and ridiculous tone as well, with many characters being quite hyperbolic and exaggerated to offset some of the heavier themes to try to balance out the mood and atmosphere. I, The Somnium Files is extremely narrative based, and this series, similar to the Zero Escape franchise, encourages players to experience all the varying paths and endings that players can explore. Each ending unlocked usually unlocks a roadblock that may have prevented previous progress down a route, further fleshing out the narrative. The true final path of the game may only be unlocked after all branches have been complete, so replaying previous sections with the goal of getting a different outcome to change the story paths is essential to unlock the true final ending, which is substantial and very much worthwhile. I, The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative is a sequel to the first game in the series, meaning there will be some returning characters this time around, like Mizuki, who played an integral role in the previous game and serves as the primary protagonist in this new game. Newcomer Ryuki serves as the secondary protagonist as the narrative is split between the two. Set in Tokyo, Japan, I, The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative takes place in two time periods, one with Ryuki, who is an investigator, taking place three months after the first game, and Mizuki, a special agent whose story segment takes place six years after the first game. The story is a duality of sorts, just as there are two main characters that serve as crime scene investigators. To add to this, these characters are thrust into a dramatic investigation of a series of crimes committed by a serial killer who leaves their victims' bodies split in two. Six years ago, Ryuki and his team of investigators were on the case when half a corpse was discovered during a game show. Six years into the future, Mizuki comes across the other half of that same body, completely preserved and showing no signs of decay. Both protagonists, along with their AI counterparts, are set on a detective journey to uncover the truth behind the split bodies and unearth the killings in this time-traveling tale. Speaking of AI counterparts, in each protagonist's left eye socket rests an AI ball, or an eye ball. Bad joke, I know, but these companions allow the protagonist to see things that normally other ordinary people can't by hacking systems remotely, turning on x-ray vision, and much more. Gameplay is very dialogue heavy, with the majority of the dialogue being spoken. Just like the previous game, the Nirvana Initiative will most likely have both English and Japanese voices as an option. Players can inspect environments with a cursor that can be moved across the screen to select various people to talk to, inspect items and objects, and find other matters of importance to progress the story or reveal optional content. 
The main puzzle gameplay is in the game's sinking mechanic, where the protagonists link up with another person, mainly a suspect, in order to escape into their heads to try to unravel that person's association to the murders. This is where the psychological aspect comes into play. These gameplay sequences are played like a third-person exploration game, where your AI companion manifests into a humanoid form as you can move the AI around to investigate objects and items that progress time. There is a six minute timer while in these gameplay stages, and each item you interact with will cost a certain amount of time. Fail to complete these stages within six minutes and it's game over. These gameplay bits require the player to think outside the box, and solutions that seem obvious may not be the ones that are required to progress. According to what happens while in these gameplay sections, you may cause the story to branch, resulting in different outcomes. Replaying these stages is required in order to experience the game's various other routes. I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative, makes new improvements of its own, with a new tool that allows players to better recreate the scene of a crime in a virtual space to see the events more clearly, along with adding a new gameplay section called Wink Sinks, which allows the player to imagine a suspect's conscious thoughts. This presents the player to select one of two options within a six second window, giving better insight into whether a witness or suspect is telling the truth. If this sounds like something that might interest you, then I suggest playing I the Somnium Files firsthand, and then picking up this game when it releases on June 24th in North America. It will release June 23rd in Japan and July 8th in Europe for the PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, and Steam. Now that about does it for me in this episode of Game Watch. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more Game Watch content, along with numerous tips and tricks videos, reviews, and other content surrounding the industry's latest releases. Thank you for your support, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!